we're going to do some basic probability in Excel. And when I say basic, I'm talking basic. Like we're not using any probability formulas here. We're just taking a small data set and figuring out how we can do this um, a little easier than writing all of this down kind of a thing. So we're going to go through five basic questions on this here data set. Now we know that probability is um, a ratio, right, of what we want to happen over the total. So the first thing I really need to figure out is how many pieces of data do I have? Now you could just count, but depending on your data set, that's not always fun. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find my total. And to do that, I'm going to use the count formula. So I'm just going to say, okay, from the top to the bottom, how many is that? And that's 25. So I have 25 pieces in my data set. So when I'm thinking about a basic probability, 25 will be my denominator. So if we look at number one, what is the probability a vehicle is blue? Well, how many blue vehicles do I have? Okay, so let's figure that out. And I can again use a formula for that. So I'm going to use the count if formula. So you'll notice I type in equals count if. And now when I click uh, put my parenthesis, it gives me the first thing I need is the range. So the range, I need colors, right? So I'm going to go in the color and I'm going to highlight. And you could also use, you know, just put the cell references B2 to B26. And then it's criteria. Now, if you just type in blue, it's not going to work because blue is qualitative data. We need to put that in quotes. So I'm going to put in quotes blue because again, qualitative, anything that is words, qualitative data, you're going to need that. So I type it in and I have five blue vehicles. So the probability of a vehicle being blue is five over 25, right? Because the number of blue vehicles over the total. So 0.2, there's the probability that any of these random uh, vehicles will be blue. All right, so now let's go to number two. Given the vehicle has three cup holders, what is the probability it's red? All right, now remember that when we're talking about um, this is a conditional probability. So given the vehicle has three cup holders, that means we only care about three cup holders. So if I go back to my data, I can sort this by cup holders. So I highlight the entire table and I'm going to go up to the top over where it says sort and filter. Now, when I click sort and filter, I'm going to go down to custom sort. So now you can see it says sort by. Well, I want to sort by cup holders because that's what I care about. And then um, it says smallest to largest, that's fine. I click OK. And it rearranges all three, so it keeps an entire piece of data together, but it sorts by number of cup holders. So now number two says, given the vehicle has three cup holders, well, I have five pieces of vehicles, or five vehicles that have three cup holders. So my denominator here is going to be five because our probability is going to be red over three cup holders. So we know that our denominator is five because there are five in the cup, uh, three cup holders. And how many of those are red? Well, just the one, and that's pretty easy to see. So my probability is gonna be one over five or again, 0.2, depending on how you view that. Number three, what is the probability a vehicle has more than two cup holders? Well, now we're looking at the probability of a whole, right? So we're going to have 25 in our denominator again, and the top is going to be more than two cup holders. So I can either count myself or I can do the count again and say, well, more than two is three on out, and that's 15. So my fraction would be 15 over 25, and I can say, well, that means 15 over 25 is 0.6. So I have a 60% chance of choosing a vehicle with more than two cup holders. Number four, given the vehicle has less than four. Okay, let me, sorry, let me go back and title that. That 15 gives me more than two cup holders. It's always good to label the things that you're doing if you're writing a bunch of things. So given the vehicle has less than four cup holders. Okay, well, how many is that? So less than four. Well, let's do the count. Less than four is two and three. So I have 15. So my denominator here is going to be 15 and I want SUV. So given the vehicle has less than four, what's the probability it's an SUV? So again, I can use count if the range. Now we're looking at only less than four. So I'm gonna highlight my vehicle types, but only for the cup holders of two and three. And then again, this is qualitative data. 
So I put SUV in quotes and it shoots back three. So three of those are SUVs. And you could always go down and just count yourself if you want, but that gives me a fraction of three over 15, which as a decimal is 0.2. Last one, given the vehicle is gray. Okay, so now I'm gonna sort, I'm gonna do another sort. So I'm gonna sort here uh, by color. So I go back up to sort and filter, custom sort, now we're going to sort by color. Okay, so now it goes. So now I can see I have five gray vehicles. So given the vehicle is gray, probability the number of cup holders is more than four. So we're looking at more than four cup holders over a gray vehicle. Okay, so we just said there are five gray vehicles. Here they are. Oh. How many of those have more than four cup holders? Now, more than four means five or six. So we can see three of those gray vehicles have more than four. So that's three over five or three divided by 5.6. And that's how you can do some basic, really it's more of understanding what probability is, playing with conditional probability, and knowing how to use the sort, the count, the count if feature. There is a probability, um, formula in Excel, but it kind of, you have to create a little bit more. You got to do some table work. I really just wasn't into that because the probability we are finding here just isn't that in depth. So this is the intro, some super, super basic probability using um, some different sorting features in Excel.